Welcome to my channel everyone! I have already shown you all of my physical games for the Nintendo Switch in a big Switch collection video and in that comment section a lot of you wanted to know what I have as digital games on my Nintendo Switch because, like I mentioned, I have way more games digital than physical. Almost all of my games are digital. So let's go through all of my games. We're going to go somewhat quickly through it, but basically I'm going to give you my impression with each game, whether it's good or bad or mediocre. Let's do it! Okay, so we are sorting by most recently played. We have Kitaria Fables. A game that I'm currently trying to play and uh, I'm not hooked. It is a cute game, uh, review code provided. You play as a cat. It's an RPG game but it's also a life simulator game but I haven't gotten to that part of the game yet. Super Neptunia RPG, game that I talked about in my last video. I don't recommend it. Muero Chronicle Hyper something. It is a somewhat dirty game if you're into that sort of thing. Fan service -y things but it is a first person dungeon crawler game anime style. Mary Skelter 2, it's a good game. It is also an ID Factory game by the people that, you know, that I always talk about. First person dungeon crawler game again, recommend. Manticore Galaxy on Fire, good first impression. It is a third person shooter in space and it's very spacey. Trials of Mana, good game. It's an action RPG game, colorful. Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town. I recommend it to everyone that enjoys uh, life simulators on the Switch. Also did a review of that. Now I am also playing WarioWare Get It Together demo. I'm getting this game, it is good. A ton of micro games. Garfield Kart Furious Racing, actually not bad. Scrap Garden, I just got this as a review code so I haven't played it yet. Asher Lane Crosswave, another ID Factory game. I'm not hooked. Tetris 99, oh, I'm loving the stand by the way, Jesus. Okay, we have Death End Request. I've talked a ton about it. It's an RPG game. Super Nintendo Entertainment System. That is uh, a bunch of SNES games. That is free for the Switch if you have online. Arc of Alchemist, ID Factory game. I didn't like it. It's terrible. Don't recommend. It runs terrible on the Switch. Warframe, that is a free game and you can't argue with free. The Rayamon Story of Seasons, a bunch of people has asked me to review this game. I can't because I don't very much like it. Which Spring 3, they sent me a very fun package. Check it out. It is a game that is originally a mobile game ported over to the Switch, but it's very cute. I'm currently playing it. Now we have Mario Golf Super Rush, a golf game, basically. We have the NES games, Wonder Boy Asha in Monster World, Islanders, fun little game actually. Minecraft Dungeons, Coffin Dodgers, I don't recommend. I thought it was going to be good, but it isn't, totally isn't. Haven Park, also got that as a review code. It reminds me a lot of a short hike. Ooh. Ninja Gaiden 3. Ninja Gaiden 2, Samurai Warriors 5, Witcher 3. That is a physical game though, never mind that. So here is Atelier Theories. Then we have Monster Hunter Stories 2, Wings of Ruin. Trying to play it currently. Knights of Asher 2, Bride of the New Moon, cute. Atelier Meruru, good. Atelier Risa 2, very good. Atelier Lulua, also very good. Atelier Tottery, aged. But I like it. Atelier, Eska and Lodgy. Atelier Aisha, love it. Atelier Sophie, so good. Goblin Sword, fun 2D platformer. Atelier Lydia and Suel, very good. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I have so many games, we had gotta do it like this if we're gonna get through them all in this <laughs> video. Uh, hit like everyone. You can also hit like on TV, please do that. <laughs> Moonlighter. Mulaka, Graveyard Keeper, that also looks like Graveyard Keeper. Yonder, Kingdoms of Amalur, Re-Reckoning. The Caligula Effect, Overdose, weird, kind of fun game. Not very bad. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, <laughs> Hades, a fun game for the people that actually like roguelikes, but I don't. But this one I could like, actually, if I put my mind to it. Blades, free game which is Elder Scrolls Blades. Get it. Spiritfarer, good. Story of Seasons Friends of Mineral Town. I did a review of that. Dragon Quest XI, LA Noir, 
Atelier Lydian Sual, Hyrule Warriors, I Am Setsuna, Swings, DC Superhero Girls, Harvest Life, Fate Extella, all of these games I talked about in the other video because they are physical as you can see by the small little thing that is next to the name, so never mind that. Fire Emblem Warriors, Labyrinth of Refrain, Mega Dimension Neptunia, Hyrule Warriors, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 Torna, Miitopia. Okay, we're back to digital games now. <laughs> Paper Mario Origami King. I love Paper Mario, but I only love the first three in the series. And after that, the series went to shit. Animal Crossing New Horizons Island Transfer Tool. I'm gonna transfer my island back uh, because I actually lost my island, but we found it in my cousin's switch. We're gonna... I'm gonna... yes. And here we have it. Animal Crossing New Horizons. Then we have Shiny Resonance Refrain. Skyrim. I have that in physical and in digital on all consoles. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Love it. Okay. Atelier Risa. Every Darkness and the Secret Hideout. Best title ever. I love it. Atelier Risa is so good though. And then we have Dragon's Dogma. We have Air, which is a small flying game, indie developed. Torchlight 3. I was obsessed with that earlier this year. Loved it. Two Point Hospital, one of my favorite games on the Switch. Deep Diving Adventures. I don't recommend it. It was actually boring. Cat Quest. This one I liked. I bed gamed this game a lot. A while back now though. Same with a Knight's Quest. Actually bed game it. Gamed that game also. Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet. The only Sword Art Online game that I seem to enjoy and like. I don't like the other games. Apparently. DC Universe Online free game. Get it. Actual good. Like surprisingly good to be a free game. Immortals Phoenix Rising. Dayland. Don't recommend it. Sorry. Poison Control. Cute, small, but still not really recommending it. Alchemist Simulator. Mm, I don't remember the game. Monster Hunter Rise Demo. Didn't like it. Nope. Little Wood. A bunch of people talked about this game actually, but it didn't hook me. I'm very picky with games. Sorry. Gotta keep it real though. Stardew Valley. My Time at Porsche. Atelier Shally. Call of Juarez. <laughs> God Eater 3. I couldn't get into this game either, but it is cute. It's just the actual gameplay that I don't like. You don't see the HP of anyone, much like in Monster Hunter. Sakuna of Rise and Ruin, Apex Legends, Skyforge. These are free games, actually. Viger is free, set in Norway. Hello. Fallout Shelter. I was obsessed back in the day, actually. Rogue Company. Just okay. Onigiri. Bad. Smite. I was good in it. Pokemon Quest. I was obsessed back in the day. Spellbreak. I like it. Good. But I don't play it because it's competitive and I'm not a competitive people. Dragon Quest Builders 2. Dauntless, also a free game. Warface, free game. One of the best free games in my opinion. Paladins, also free game. Corpse Party, Blood Drive, weird game. Crisis Remastered, basic game. First person shooter. YouTube, don't know what that is. Torchlight 2, good. Sniper Elite 2 Remastered, good, but number 3 is better. Diablo 3. And then we have some games that I have in physical, which is Crash Team Racing and Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. The Wonderful 101 Remastered. Fairy Fencer F Advent Dark Force. Fate Extella Link. Cute niche games. Hair Mauer 3D. That is for the super casual gamer that don't really like video games though. Summer in Mara, I was disappointed. Super Mario Odyssey, New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, long title. Spyro Reignited Trilogy, New Super Lucky's Tale, Super Mario 3D All Stars, Team Sonic Racing, Nino Kuni, Beach Buggy Racing, A Short Hike. Is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon? Yes, it is. Fairy Tale, Never Again, Shalnor Legends. Poi Explorer Edition, actual fun 3D platformer. Heroki, side scrolling 2D. Weakwood Throne, don't recommend it. It's super bad. It feels unfinished. Ease 8 Lacrimosa of Donna, played on PlayStation 4 actually, because it doesn't look good on the Switch. It actually looks way better on the PlayStation 4. Horizon Chase Turbo, everyone loved it. Tales of Vesperia, which is a Tales RPG game. Tansia, I liked it actually, even though it is super indie developed. We have Zelda, don't know what the game that is. There's a fly in here. 
in my basement. Now Thief Simulator anyways. My neighbor played it a ton. Actual good. We we played it together. Fun times. Tiny Hands Adventure, not very good. Trouser Heart, it is good, but small, small game. Valtherian Arc Hero School Story, I liked it. Warriors Orochi 4, Windscape, it's not super bad, but it is super indie. Woodle Tree Adventures, one of my first games on the Switch. That was indie developed, so cute, such a cute, you know, you can give that game to a kid. Now another kids game, uh, Woven, don't recommend it because it wasn't super good. Ukulele, the only thing I felt was missing in Ukulele back when I played it and I was excited for it was that there's a lack of a map. Not really a good world map in any way in the game, uh, confusing to navigate around in. Yono and the Celestial Elephants <laughs> brings back a lot of memories for me. Now, City Skylines, I love my simulator games like Two Point Hospital and City Skylines. They're fun, they're good, but probably hands down, maybe best played on PC and not on the Switch. Eh, but it's fun to have them on the Switch at least, I guess. Divinity Original Sin 2, that is a hardcore RPG game. Tons of text and story and lore and characters. Something to bite on. That is not something that people say. Okay, Cat Tales, actual cute and fun. I played it a ton. Fire Emblem Three Houses. Tabletop Racing World Tour, one of uh, my neighbor Stefan's favorite games on the Switch. Stranded Sales, I have a review of this game, actually really old review. And I had audio issues throughout the entire review and that still bothers me to this day. Oh no, link to that in the corner. Starlink Battle for Atlas, I actually also reviewed this game. That is so many years ago. Cringy old videos. Don't watch them, oh no. Slain, Back from Hell. That is how I felt when I played it. Skies of Fury DX, it was an obsession actually. Red Wings, just as good, but Skies of Fury is maybe better. Overwatch, Oninaki, talked about that in a previous video, check that out. <laughs> Nine Parchments, fun, top-down, magical game. Nelki and the Legendary Alchemists Ateliers of... Don't get that game, don't. More fight, I loved it. I truly did. Legend of K Anniversary. Immortals Redneck. I liked everything with the game except for the fact that you lose stuff when you die. Because roguelike. Hate roguelike. Implosion. Fun game. Hypercharge Unboxed. Gleaner Heights. It's sort of like a Stardew Valley but darker. Mm, darker in every way. Ginger Beyond the Crystal. Cute game. I miss it. I'm actually gonna download it and play it. Lul, because it was cute. No, wait, I'm fucking up the no. Okay, whatever. Okay, it went to the front of the line because I actually downloaded it right now. <laughs> Wild recording. Okay, we have Earth Wars. I liked it, it is side-scrolling though, but I didn't mind this time around. Digger Man, a small indie game. Doom 3. Cluster Truck, Cartoon Network, Adventure Time, Pirates of the Enchiridon. I need to play that more also. I don't feel finished, so to speak. Big Drunk Satanic Massacre. I talked about that in this video. Yeah. Bullet Storm. I don't recommend it. I hated it. I actually wrote a review of it. I mean, a full buy or not review. I have it in my notes, in one of my older notebooks. But I never filmed that review because it was so bad. I was gonna give it like, I don't know, five out of 10 anyway. Okay, next game. Away, Journey to the Unexpected. That was cute. Atelier Rorona. I don't recommend to start with that game because it's super hardcore and difficult. Assassin's Creed Rebel Collection. I enjoyed it a ton. That brings back good memories also, just thinking about that. A Street Cat's Tale, it's a game. Bloodstained, Ritual of the Night, Harvest Moon, Light of Hope, Little Dragon's Cafe, Victor Ran, Titan Quest, Astral Chain, Luigi's Mansion 3, Pokemon Shield. I talked about all of these games that I went through now really fast um, in the physical, physical uh, video, uh, video on my channel. Now we have Sniper, don't recommend. D Blob, Borderlands 2, iconic. Bastion, it's okay. Sniper Elite 3, I loved it. 
I completed that game. I ate the game. <laughs> what? Hunting Simulator. That is actually one that I haven't tried. I haven't played that. Hmm. Why have I not played that? Rogue Trooper Deluxe. It wasn't very good, but it's a third person shooter. Atomic Crops. I didn't get into it. Duke Nukem 3D. I found that game to be really hard, actually. Didn't know where to go. <laughs> Hate when that happens. Minecraft. That is a very good game to jump into sometimes. And I often do. Uh, not often, I mean, but I several times throughout a year, I jump into it. Because the music is good. Borderlands, the pre-sequel. It was actually my favorite Borderlands until Borderlands, um, the newest one, came out. Lord Ruin Factory 4 Special, a life simulator that is a tiny bit underrated and you need to play it. I have a review of that also. Doom, my good old childhood game. Now, Eternal Nights R, that is a, um, a MMO game on the Switch. I'm not lying, actual MMO, but it very much feels like uh, a cell phone game and that puts me off. Now, Dusk Diver, I liked it. I love the art style in Dusk Diver, that I did. Pine, I liked that you had to get reputation within s several tribes across the map. Now, I do have more games in the re-download thingy. Now, here are the ones that are so bad that I don't even want to see them on this list, on, on my Switch. That is 911 Operator, Asphalt 9 and Arena of Valor, they are free games. Astro Bears Party, don't need to see that. Bury Me My Love, bad. Car Quest, these are super bad. Coloring Book, not my thing, lol. A lot of demos I don't want to see when I'm on my Switch. Disney Samsung -Sum Festival, Fall of Light, Darkest Edition, Fear Effect Sedna, Figment, Fitness Boxing, Fortnite, Fury, Galaxy, Galgan 2, Lost Sea. There's actually two versions of Minecraft on the Switch. Not sure why though. No thing. Weirdest game that I own. Hands down. Weirdest. Ninjala, Orn, the Tiny Forest Sprite, Pantharook. What? Pokemon Cafe Mix, RPG Maker, Realm Royale, a lot of demos and free games. Robonauts, Shadow of Loot Box, Shut Eye, Sparklight. What is that doing here? Star Story, The Horizon Escape. I haven't looked around in this list in such a long time. The Adventures of Elena Temple, The Way Remastered, Utopia 9, We the Revolution, and that was all. That was everything. All the digital games that I have on my Switch. Now you know all things. But yeah, I do find uh, digital games to be more convenient than physical because I don't have to change out any cartridges. They are all on there if you have a big SD card though. And digital games just really appeals to me because I have all of my games with me uh, wherever I go. If I have them downloaded, that is. Also, you can't lose them, like physically lose them. Yeah, I know. They can take away the license for you to play the game because it is a digital license after all, I know that. But another pro with digital games is that it is easier to get review codes. For me though, this doesn't apply to most people, I guess. If you are a YouTuber, it's easier to get a review code digital than it is to get a game sent to me physical. Now another con is that you cannot lend the game out to your friends and that has actually been a big con for me in some instances. Like for example, I bought Assassin's Creed Valhalla on my PlayStation 4 digital but I wanted to borrow it to a friend but I can't because it's a digital copy. And if you have a lot of digital games you will end up not having a lot of a visual collection as you can see. Now, as for PC games, and I never talk about PC games, I have all of my PC games in digital, of course, on Steam. I don't have any physical PC games. And I think we're heading that direction when it comes to console uh, games also. We are heading towards digital games, and I'm fine with it, it's cool. But I am on both sides, like I said in the previous video. I like physical, I like digital, I like a lot of things, <laughs> apparently. But yeah, that was all for today. I would also like you to like the video. You can uh, 
like it down below actually but thank you so much for watching and i will see you later Everyone does it smell. Woo! Now thief simulator. Now thief simulator, anyways.